Number 5. Apple iPad Air – Best for Most People This year, the iPad Air offers so much more than the base iPad that it's worth taking the step up if you can afford it. For the increase in price, you get a larger screen, stronger audio, faster networking, a much more powerful processor, better Apple Pencil support, and a superior build. That makes the fourth-generation iPad Air a good long-term investment and the best Apple tablet to buy in 2021. Not only does the 10.9-inch iPad Air 4 impress with its flat-edge design, but its Apple Pencil and Magic Keyboard support mean it's more capable of replacing your laptop, provided you spend more for those accessories. It's also got speedy A14 Bionic performance and USB-C charging. The iPad Air 4 runs on the A14 Bionic chip, which has a hexa-core CPU and a quad-core GPU, which combine to give you a serious speed advantage over most tablets. I saw zero stutter under basic everyday usage, splitting its screen between 12 Safari tabs and a 1080p YouTube video. The iPad Air 4 offers all-day battery life, lasting around 10 hours and 20 minutes during my battery test. Overall, I'd say that the iPad Air is the best value among Apple's iPad lineup and a slam dunk for tablets for the year. Number 4. Microsoft Surface Pro X 2020 – Best Multi-Purpose Tablet the Surface Pro X is a glimpse of an ARM-powered Windows future, combining the best bits of phones and computers, but while that future is closer than ever, it isn't quite ready yet. The new £999 Surface Pro X might look like the rest of Microsoft Surface tablets on the outside, but it is fundamentally a different beast on the inside. It has a new processor at its heart called the SQ1, which Microsoft partnered with mobile chip maker Qualcomm to create, instead of a traditional Intel or AMD chip. It's ARM-based, just like the one inside your phone, not an x86 chip, which has been used in most computers for decades. Switching to an ARM system has certain advantages, including potential for longer battery life, built-in 4G, and a slimmer profile. Surface Pro X is a unique device with a particular target audience. Think of it more like a specialized tool rather than a do-it-all PC. Is this tablet the right one for you? If you need a tablet that's always on LTE, turns on quickly, and brings the benefits of a 2-in-1 laptop, the Surface Pro X solves some problems for you. But if you want PC gaming, the ability to run computer-aided design or CAD apps, heavy lifting things like video editing and media creation, then the Surface Pro X creates problems. Knowing where you fall on that spectrum determines if the Surface Pro X is right for you. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 – Best Budget Tablet Android tablets have a tough time competing at the high end, iPads more or less single-handedly dominate that space. But if you're looking to spend a couple of hundred bucks on something to watch Netflix in bed, you're probably not shopping Apple. You're probably already looking for something like Samsung's latest budget tablet, the Galaxy Tab A7. It's cheap, it's got a nice screen and speakers, and the battery lasts for days. There's not a lot to dislike here. The 10.4-inch screen is a TFT LCD panel, but it's a very pleasing one to look at. It's 1200p and the colors really pop. It's missing the perfect blacks an OLED would offer, and it doesn't sport a high refresh rate, but it's still perfectly nice for web browsing and media consumption. There's a 5-megapixel shooter on the back and an 8-megapixel on the front, but photos from both are just really not good. They're almost universally grainy and washed out. Personally, that doesn't bother me at all, but if you're liable to use your tablet for a lot of video calls or to take quick pictures of your kids or pets between social media browsing sessions, it might be worth it to spend more on something with better imaging. Should you buy it? Yes, if all you'd use your tablet for is casual media consumption or web browsing. The Tab A7 is perfectly capable of both and it's priced right. It's got really strong battery life too and build quality is better than you'd expect in this price segment. Number 2. Apple iPad Pro Best High-End Tablet The iPad Pro of 2020 ups the ante in the performance department with a new A12Z Bionic chip with an 8-core graphics engine, a new dual-camera system that includes an ultra-wide lens and a LiDAR scanner that offers a more responsive augmented reality experience. The iPad Pro is practically identical to its predecessor, and that's not a bad thing. This 12.9-inch slab is almost all screen with narrow bezels on all four sides, rounded corners and an ultra-slim profile. The liquid retina display on the iPad Pro 2020 is among the best screens on any mobile device. It's bright, colorful, and leverages ProMotion technology for automatically adjusting the refresh rate up to 120Hz. The iPad Pro includes a new A12Z Bionic processor that offers an 8-core CPU, 
and a new 8-core GPU that's designed to provide a big boost in graphics performance. For battery life, I got 7 hours 48 minutes of video streaming at full brightness over Wi-Fi, which is good for an iPad. Apple generally assumes you'll use the device at half brightness, which can almost double the battery life. Think of it as 11 to 12 hours at that level. The new iPad Pro can easily be a laptop replacement and even beat some of the high-end laptops in the market today. So if you're looking for a tablet that can handle anything you throw at it, you won't go wrong with the 2020 iPad Pro. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus – Best Android Tablet The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is the most capable Android productivity tablet on the market. In addition to being the first to support 5G connectivity, it's also a performance powerhouse that can handle multitasking with ease. With impressive features, incredible performance, and all-day battery life, it's the best Android tablet you can buy right now, and earns the number one spot in our list. It measures 11.25 by 7.3 by 0.2 inches and weighs 1.3 pounds without the optional book cover keyboard case. That may sound heavy, but the weight is well distributed, making it easy to hold for long periods. The front is dominated by 12.4-inch 2800 by 1752 pixel Super AMOLED display with a 120Hz variable refresh rate. Color accuracy is spot on with vivid colors and inky deep blacks. The screen is bright enough to use in direct sunlight without any problems. As expected, the Tab S7 Plus can choose through just about any task you throw its way. I tested it with over a dozen apps and three dozen Chrome windows open, and it didn't even flinch. The powerful Snapdragon 865 chipset on the tablet, combined with its 120Hz display, makes gaming an immersive and seamless experience. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is the most capable Android productivity tablet on the market. In addition to being the first to support 5G connectivity, it's also a performance powerhouse that can handle multitasking with ease. The S Pen is a pleasure to use, and the Samsung One UI actually feels like it adds to the overall experience. Buying Guide Screen Size Tablets are available in different sizes and are divided into three basic categories – small, 7 to 9 inches, medium, 9 to 11 inches, and large, 12 inches or larger. Generally speaking, the larger the screen size, the more expensive the device. Tablets with larger screens also tend to be more powerful, but they're also heavier than smaller tablets. The screen size you choose will likely be a matter of personal preference, but it should also be influenced by how you plan to use the device. Apps Another important difference between tablets and regular computers is that most tablets use a mobile operating system, like iOS or Android. This means tablets can't run desktop software you might already own for a Windows PC or Mac computer. However, if you already have a smartphone that uses Android or iOS, you might want to consider purchasing a tablet that runs the same operating system. This way, you'll already be familiar with the way your tablet works, and you'll also be able to install many of the apps you've already purchased on both devices. Entertainment or Productivity even though smaller tablets aren't as powerful as regular laptops, their compact size makes them good for simple tasks like checking your email, browsing online, playing games, and streaming online videos. However, if you want your tablet to replace your laptop for tasks like creating long documents or editing photos, you may need the extra screen space and processing power of a